Q, the co-main event this past weekend, mm -hmm. obviously we know the outcome. Donald Cerrone finishing Mike Perry first round armbar. Yeah. But in his post-fight speech, he said something that was a little bit funny to me. He said he wants to go back down yeah. to 155 and go for the title. You found that funny? I found that hilarious. <laughs> because you're a fan favorite fighter. Yeah. You're a fighter that doesn't care about the belt. Yeah. But now you gave birth to a son, and all mm -hmm. of a sudden you want to cut weight and do things the right way. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm ready for the right way, Cerrone. I just like that crazy, fun-loving, it, it's, dangerous. It's things of too little too late. Yes. Or, or, or uh, a little bit too late, or whatever that nope. expression yeah, is. That's it, it reeks of that simply because of the fact that, yeah, we've never seen Cerrone kind of present like this. But I'll tell you what, I'm buying into it. Okay. okay. Because Cerrone in the fight that we just saw this past weekend yes. looked solid. He looked good. He looked he very looked good. solid. I've seen sometimes when Cerrone fights, he doesn't seem like he's all the way invested in the right. fight. And so sometimes if he gets touched a bit one too many times, yeah. he starts to kind of wilt under the pressure. Oh, yeah. I think we he does that quite Gary frequently. Tell. He does yeah. that pretty frequently. Okay, yeah. be fair. <laughs> but in this fight most recently, what we saw was Cerrone basically say, oh, no, like, I'm winning this fight no matter what. Right. You know what I mean? He just found a way to beat Mike Perry. He was super aggressive the entire time. Mike Perry hits hard. Yeah. But it didn't affect Cerrone. Right. And so maybe there is something to him and having a son and, and saying, yo, maybe like I'm, I'm refocused now. I mean, apparently that happens to people when they have kids. I wouldn't know. Yeah, no, but, but it could. And to be quite honest, I think part of the reason he wants to move down, and don't get me wrong, I'm a Cerrone fan. Mm -hmm. But it's because he knows he truly cannot cut it yeah. with the elite Walter Waits in that Rush, division. He's not 170. He's not 170. No, he's not. He never was. He never was. He moved up, you know, rattled off a few wins, which made everyone say, oh my God, yes. is this guy like a, really a contender at 170? Right. But against big 170 pounders, yes. Leon Edwards, Darren Till. Right. Cerrone, he has no business fighting those guys. No, so. and even if he were to ever fight Kamaru, mm -hmm. Ponzabibio, we yeah. were just it's, talking it's about. It's a joke. He it's lost joke. to Leon Rocky Edwards. You know what? It's not going to work out there's for him. A big, so I'm not mad at him going back down. I don't know. The other half of it is I don't know that he'll be able to make a lot of noise at 155. Right. But nonetheless, there are still some intriguing matchups at 155 that it's been long enough for Cerrone at 170. I actually want to see him back at 155. So tell the white belts, what's a matchup you want to see him at 155? Well, the one that's rumored that, you know, kind of gets oh me salivating right off of that is... is you is think some... Connor's fighting everybody, eh? I don't know that he's going to fight him. He's rumored to be fighting Cyborg Santos. I don't know that he's going like... to fight him, but if he... Is potentially gonna fight him. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm buying the tickets. It's I'm a good fight. It's yeah, a good it's, fight. It's a really good fight. And and there is rumors that he could potentially fight Connor. Yeah. Um. So Connor wins that fight easy. Connor wins that fight. Connor wins that fight easy. Yeah. I think probably touches him too many times on the chin, and 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 Cerrone does what Cerrone used to do. Yes. Probably will. Yes. will. <laughs> um. Yeah. Who you got though? I mean, who you think is anyone else? You know what? There's a lot. I was actually looking at the rankings. Okay. And there's a lot of names that he could fight. Okay. Personally, I don't think. He wins most of them, but he'll fight them. So Justin okay. Gaethje comes to mind. You don't have that him beating highlight. Justin Gaethje? I don't have him beating Gaethje. I think, I think Gaethje has that one. Mm -hmm. Just because... Uh, but then again, like it kind of reminds me of the Cerrone versus Matt Brown fight a little bit. Mm -hmm. Where I thought Matt Brown would bring that pressure, pressure, break yeah. Cerrone. But what happened was he got head kicked to sleep. So you never know in the Gaethje fight what could happen. But I think Justin Gaethje can win that fight. Yeah. Justin Poirier, another one. I think Poirier can get that job I done. I think Cerrone beats... So Gaethje, I'm actually with you. Yeah. Because, because Gaethje is impossible to put out. Right. And Cerrone just doesn't have the five power save for his kicks yep. to put away a Gaethje. But Poirier, I like that matchup quite a bit. I think they're pretty similar in terms of what they do. Yep. And I, I, that, that, that might be another fight that I really want to see. So Kevin Lee versus Cerrone. I don't think it's a stylistic a great matchup. No. But again, it brings Kevin Lee's name to another level true, as well. Because true. I'm a huge Kevin Lee Motel Phenom true, fan. True. So maybe you can run that one. But Man, there are a lot in that top fights. six. But then... To me, it's crazy when when um, when Cerrone's calling out Khabib, yeah. saying Khabib, I'm coming for your belt. Yeah, that's silly. Because I told you off yeah. camera, yeah. you know, the yeah. only thing he's gonna catch is an L in that yeah. fight. Yeah, we both know that. Yeah. That's, that, that's a little bit silly. I mean, there's still levels to this. Yes. And that's that's that might be too big of a quick armbar off the back though by Cerrone. Yeah, hey, those man. hips were fast. And we can't sleep on this wrestling. The boy can wrestle. Yep. We always forget that he can, and then he's like, oh yeah, I can wrestle. Yep. I got jujitsu as well. So Mike Wilkajohn's in the back seat <laughs> now. He's not yeah, working with exactly, him. Yeah. He's studying film for once. He's studying film. He's refocused, coming in with a game plan. Man. So Cerrone, you love I, a good story. I yeah, you love <laughs> <laughs> I'm an easy sell. What can I say? Yeah, so I'll I'm be watching your next fight yeah, for sure. He said he wants to fight at the end of the year, which is yeah, great. So at yeah. least he still wants to rattle and him off. Any of those names that we just listed off right now, like I'm in. Like let's make that happen. Let's yeah. see Cerrone back at 155. Yep. Yeah. Doing what Cowboy does. Oh so, man, that'd be cool. Done. What do you wipe out? Think who should he fight next? Let us know in the comments below. Oops.